Yu-Gi-Oh! is fucking expensive. So today we have 12 packs of Lightning Overdrive. We're going to be looking for a Mubeta Fafnir or a Diviner of Herald. Let's go ahead and start cracking into them. Hopefully we can pull something good. So number one, we have Terrors of the Underroot, Spriggan's Brothers, Demaria Ignister, Sky Scourge, Sid Heels, and Amazement Family Faces. All right, you and I, several other cards. Second pack, Paleozoic Cambroster, Starry Night Seal, AI Challenge You, Scrap Raptor, and Expendable Die, as well as Judge of the Ice Barrier, Spriggan's Booty, Starmine, and War Rock Mahmood. Next pack, we have Dogmatic Calamity, AI Meet You, Yami Yori, Spriggan's Brothers, and an Ultra Rare White Knight of Dogmatica. It is a ritual card that isn't used by our deck that is a ritual deck. But let's go ahead and check out the rest of this booster box. We have Zexal Alliance, AI Meet You, Amazement Special Show, Scrap Raptor, and Thrawn uh, Disciplined Angel. Next pack. We have S Force Dog Tag, Starry Night Seal, Maxwell. Oh, I skipped one, but nothing in there. It's so sad that everything, <laughs> everything we need out of here is high rarity. Uh, War Rock, Boo Boo Game, Dogmatic Calamity, Pegasus Twin Saber, and War Rock Spirit. Okay. This is number seven, I believe. So we have one Kree Way, War Rock Generations. Oh. Uh, penguin. <laughs> I was going to say Penguin. Pegasus Twin Saber. And we got the Amazement Cyclo Coaster. All right. Next pack Lightning Overdrive. We have. Terrors of the Underroot, Spriggan's Brothers, Judgment of the Branded, S-Force Dog Tag, and Rank Up Magic Zexal Force. Alright. AI Challenge You, Cambroster, Maxwell, Oto <laughs> Otoshida Mashi, and... S-Force Chase, that's three Ultras on that side. Huh, that's interesting. Yamiori, Skyhorde Sittels, Zexal Alliance, Dark Eye Nightmare, and Proof of Proofless. Next pack, we've got Amazing Attraction, Majestic Mary Go Round, S Force Dog Tag, One Kree Way, Dark Eye Nightmare, and the Super Rare Rocks Rose Dragon. Last pack War Rock Generations, Vision Condescence, uh, Amazement Attraction, Maj Majestic Mary Go Round, Atoshida Mashi, and oh, Drytron Moo Beta Fafnir. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Cool. So we have our second move out of Fafnir. Man, we really need a freaking Zeus now. <laughs> but uh, okay, we got something that we were looking for. That's really awesome. I'm just going to go ahead and sleeve that up right here. And um, next week we'll probably be opening up more Lightning Overdrive. Um, so stay tuned. In duel number one, we are going against Demo. He is playing a Magistus Dogmatica Shadal hybrid type deck. Anyway, we go first. We go into our Mubeta Fafnir. We 
activate its effect to send the Zeta. We use the Zeta and we use the ritual spell to bring out the Herald of Ultimateness. We bring out our Diviner of Herald. From here we are able to use the um, Medionis again. We end up bringing out Benten, bringing out Beatrice. And we're able to go into Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. So, it's Demo's turn. We use Beatrice to send Eva, and then we're able to add two fairies to our hand to have more negates. And he summons out the Riliona. We negate her effect, and then we negate the effect of the uh, Ecclesia, and he surrenders. Duel number two against Demo, he starts out by using the Riliona. We affect Valor it. He proceeds to go into Artemis, uses Crowley to send the Artemis to the graveyard, and then he equips it. From there, he uses Nadir Servant, sets one card face down, and passes turn, adding the Nexus to hand. We draw into the Red Eyes Fusion and we have the Dark Magician in hand, so there's really not much else we can do other than going into Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, hitting for 3k and uh, passing turn. Now it's Demo's turn and he summons out the Zoroa, we negate its effect, and we are able to uh, stop the Artemis. So he goes into the Ecclesia, goes into the Fleur de Lis. And gets rid of our Red Eyes Dark Dragoon because its effect has been negated. Uh, we're able to send our uh, Entis popping a card on the field. And he just attacks into us for some pretty decent damage. Now, during our main phase, we activate the effect of Delta, which he changed Shadal Schism to. And he summons out Winda, and that's our one special summon for the turn, so we surrender. It's one and one, neck and neck against Demo, and we are going first. We bring out the Alpha using our Nova, and we summon out the Link Karibo, go into our Alpha again, bring out our Preta Plant, go into our Gamma and our Alpha. We go into our Mubeta Fafnir, he doesn't have any negates against us at this point. And he, we bring out our Mubeta, or no, sorry, our uh, Bait Zeta? Zeta. We bring out our Zeta, and we go into our Beatrice. We use its effect to send the Ultimateness, and we summon out the Ultimateness. From here, we are able to bring out our Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, setting one and passing turn. So we use the Beatrice to send the Eva and add two fairies to our hand. We summon out the Link Karibo using our level 1 monster, and... We just proceed to basically negate everything that he does during this turn. From here, he Nadir Servants, he Nadir Servants, and he ends up having to set one passing turn to us. Now we go into Nightmare Unicorn, and he uses the Dogmatic of Punishment to get rid of our Herald of Ultimateness. We go into Access Code Talker, and he surrenders. Match number two, we are going against Chu the Whoop, who is using his sealed only deck. So, our effect gets negated and there's really nothing else we can do from there. So, we just pass turn. He goes into his Scrapter and his uh, Machina Fortress. And we just negate that, we negate his Scrap Wyvern. And he has two cards set face down and passes turn. I believe they are both Solemns. Um, he goes into his Scrap Recycler, we Imperm it, and he attacks into us for 900. So, now it's our turn, we use Drytron Nova, summon out Gamma, we use Gamma to summon Link Rebo, and our effect gets Solemn Striked. Um, so now, he just passes turn, he draws into a Scrapter, and now we are really unable to stop any of his effects. So he brings out the Scrap Recycler, uses the Rosenix, and he summons out his Link to Monster and attacks into us for a thousand damage. From here, we draw into our Cyber Angel Ben 10, luckily. We go into Gamma, we add Van Lee's Ruler, we summon it, and attack. So now it is Chu's turn. He sets an Imperm and passes turn. 
we go into gamma we go into mu beta and we attack into our opponent's monster but our effect gets negated he's able to bring out citadel from here we go into alpha we go into zeta and we activate the ritual spell bringing out the quadrantes so he surrenders from there duel number two against chu the whoop he goes first uses fossil dig brings out the scraptor we imperm the scraptor and he activates orchestrated babble setting one card face down and passing turn our turn we get cosmic cyclone on our fafnir or our uh field spell my bad um we go into link Rebo, we summon out alpha we summon out zeta we use ben 10 to add the herald of ultimateness we go into mu beta fafnir and we use the Midionis. we go into alpha and zeta we use the Midionis Drytron again. I accidentally set my monster face down. Uh, but we proceed to go into Nightmare Phoenix. Pop the back row. We go into Nightmare Unicorn. Return the monster. And we go into our Delta. Going into Axis Code Talker. 5300 attack. Getting rid of the field spell. And attacking in for game. Next duel, we're going against Demura Tundra, our friend Nick. He is using a Sioux ship deck. So he summons out two monsters, goes into the rank four, sets a card face down, and he has three effect veilers. Wowza. So we go into Delta. We summon out Alpha. And we just kind of proceed to go into Mu Beta Fafnir, which gets negated, but we herald... <laughs> And he uses another effect veiler on it. So we go into Drytron Nova. Go into Diviner of Herald, which gets negated as well. And we go into Verte Anaconda. Summoning out our Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. And we pop the monster. Attack in for 500, 2000, and 3000. He's at 300 life points left. He draws into a trap card, sets it, and passes turn. We negate the effect of his trap card. Our monster's at 4,000 attack, and we just hit him with the Verte Anaconda. Duel number two against Demurra Tundra. He goes first again, uses Unexpected Die, brings out his Sushi monster. We negate the effect. He sets one card and passes turn. So we draw into a Drytron Nova. We activate it, go into Alpha. We go and use our uh, Cyber Emergency, and we go into our Relinquish Anima. From here, we proceed to go into our Mubita Fafnir. He doesn't negate it with Effect Veiler for one reason or another. Um, then he negates our Relinquished Anima. So, we go into our Gamma and our Zeta. We use our Herald and we are able to bring back ben 10 with the medionis we go into nightmare unicorn pop the monster we go into access code talker 5300 and we attack in close to lethal but not quite so we send the eva we add two and we pass turn from there next up we send our uh, quadrantids and he just surrenders Last but not least, we are going against Rain Knight Gaming, who is playing his sealed only at Ignister deck. We go first, we summon out two Drytron monsters, we end up drawing a card because we had the, uh, I th believe we drew a card because that was a Delta. Anyway, <laughs> we, uh, go into our Diviner of Herald, summon out the Benten, we use it to go into Gamma, and Gamma brings out another one of the Drytron monsters. From here, we use our Medionis Drytron to bring out the Herald of Ultimateness, go into the Verte Anaconda, using it to summon out the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. We pass turn. He uses Terraforming, which we Herald of Ultimateness. And he uses the At, is, at Ignister AI land. <laughs> uh, we Ultimateness the effect of his monster. 
and he attacks into our Red Eyes Dark Dragoon and passes turn. He has two sets in the back row. He uses Dogmatica Punishment to get rid of our Herald of Ultimateness. And we summon out the mo the other Mubit of Fafnir. Uh, we go into Alpha. We summon out Ultimateness, go into our uh, Unicorn, then our Access Code Talker. And we have more than game on board. But he gets rid of our uh, Access Code Talker, but we still have game. And duel number two against Ray Knight Gaming. He goes first, sets three, and passes turn. We use our Delta. We draw a card. And we use our uh, Zeta. We add the Medionis Drytron. He uses the Sanguine. Brings out the uh, golden golden guy, Eldlixer, Eld, Eld, Eldlich guy. Anyway, he brings out Eldiche, and we go into Vertanaconda uh, because we got kind of interrupted. We use it to get rid of the Eldlich, the Golden Lord. We attack in for some decent damage. He's left with 2,000 life points. So he summons out the Eldlich. It's at 3,500. And uh, yeah, I, I don't really play against Eldlich very often. So uh, I, will, I didn't know what happens. I forgot that it gains attack points and stuff like that. But in any case, he uses the uh, trap card. And then we attempt to get rid of his back row. We use the Diviner of Herald. We use Entis to pop that back row that he saved. We go into Access Code Talker, and we get rid of the other back row, attack into the Eldritch the Golden Lord, passing turn, and he uses the Eldritch to bring itself out, and passes turn. We use Access Code Talker, and it's, it protects itself, um, the Eldritch does. I didn't realize that that was the effect that it couldn't be destroyed and stuff. But in any case, we win by normal summoning out our Vanity's Ruler and uh, attacking over his monster and then hitting with the Vanity's Ruler. But I hope you guys enjoyed those duels. We won four in a row. That means $40 to our YGO HSA. So we're saving up and we're getting close to the end of the series. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Sorry it's taking me so long to get these episodes out. But uh, hopefully the next one will be next week. Uh, again, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below for more awesome videos like this. And I will catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.